The Holy Tales. Holy! It is time for you to tell us a story. Of course. I have already thought of a wonderful story to tell you. Really? Which one? The story of the three wise men. Long, long time ago, far away in the east, three wise kings saw a beautiful star shining brightly in the sky over Bethlehem. The three wise kings were King Gaspar, King Melchior and King Balthazar. And they knew that the bright star in the sky was a sign from God. So they decided to follow the star and to travel to Jerusalem and look for the child who was going to be the king of all the Jews. All they wanted was to honor him. The three wise kings traveled on their camels for many days. They traveled over high mountains, huge deserts, over vast open plains. But all they did was to follow the bright shining star in the sky. When the king of Jerusalem, King Herod, heard about this child being born, he was afraid that he would lose his kingdom. So he carved out a plan to kill him. He told the wise men, Tell me when you find this child. I want to honor him too. The three wise men traveled for days on end and finally reached their destination in Bethlehem. They were overjoyed. The three wise men entered the house and saw the child with Mary. They knew that this child was Jesus, the Son of God. They all knelt down before him, offering him valuable gifts which they got with them. They offered him precious gold, frankincense and myrrh. What's frankincense, holy? Frankincense is used in churches to worship God. The wise man gifted frankincense to Jesus to show that he will be worshipped. Ah! That night, when the three wise men left from Jesus' house, they decided not to go back to King Herod and inform him anything about the Son of God. They were warned by an angel in their dream about King Herod's vicious plan. So, the three wise men traveled back home taking a different route. One night, Joseph had a dream in his sleep. An angel came to his dream and warned him about the child's safety. Hurry up and go to Egypt. You have to save the child. King Herod wants to kill him. That night, Mary and Joseph left for Egypt along with baby Jesus. It was after King Herod's death that Joseph had another dream. The angel appeared in his dream once again and said, It is now safe to go back to Bethlehem with Jesus. After this dream, Joseph went back to Bethlehem with Mary and Jesus, where Lord Jesus grew up. Whoa! That was such a wonderful story! The wise men were indeed very wise to keep baby Jesus away from King Herod. Yes! That was a fantastic story, Holy! The Holy Tales All right then, today I am going to tell you the story about how Jesus brought in fishermen and a few other men to follow him and make them his disciples. Who is a disciple, Holy? Um, a disciple is a person who believes in someone and follows his ideas and philosophies. Come on, now let us begin with the story. Okay. 
Long, long time ago, one day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, and as he walked down, he passed boat after boat after boat. The sea was actually a big, beautiful lake where many fishermen would gather to catch fish. All day long, hard-working fishermen would work at the lake, emptying their nets and getting ready to go back in the water, or gathered their day's catch to sell in the market. As Jesus walked along the shores of the Sea of Galilee, he walked past many such boats and watched two men working on a particular boat. These men were Simon and his brother Andrew. Both Simon and Andrew were working very hard and were really frustrated about not catching any fish the night before. Andrew and Simon had met Jesus before when John the Baptist had introduced them to him right after he was baptized. However, that meeting was for a very short while. Jesus walked up to Andrew and Simon and said, Could you please put your boat out in the water for a little while? Andrew and Simon agreed. Jesus stepped onto the boat and started teaching from there. People who were walking by the shore and even the fishermen who were working in their boats stopped to listen to Jesus' teaching. After Jesus was done teaching, he turned to Simon and said, Go out deeper into the sea and put down your nets. Simon was hesitant. He said, Lord, we spent all night trying to catch fish, but we haven't even caught a single one. But only because you are asking, I will do so and put down the nets. As soon as Simon and Andrew let down their nets, they caught thousands and thousands of fish, almost breaking their nets. They waved to their friends, James and John, in the next boat, seeking help. They filled in the boat with the fish they caught, but the boat was full and was beginning to sink. Simon was shocked and amazed. He bowed down to Jesus and said, Lord, I am a sinner and you should not be near me. Jesus calmly replied, Come, follow me, and I shall make you fishers of men. Andrew, Simon, James, and John left everything and went with Jesus immediately. They left behind their boats, their nets, the fish they caught, and everything that they had with them. They did not doubt Jesus at all. They had all the faith and trust in him. This way, Jesus asked twelve men to follow him, and they became his disciples. All these men believed in Jesus and had immense faith in what he said. They helped Jesus to spread God's word to other people all around the world, and hence they were known as the fishers of men. However, not all these twelve disciples of Jesus were fishermen. They all came from different lines of work and different families. They were also not perfect. But they all believed in Jesus, and that's what made them follow him. So, did you like the story? Of course we did, Holy! It was a wonderful story. <laughs> I am glad. The Holy Tales Well, today I am going to tell you the story of Matthew. But he also had another name. Another name? Oh, yes. He was also called Levi. Mm, that sounds interesting. Right then, let's 
let's begin with the story. Matthew was the son of Alphaeus, and he lived in Capernaum, and his name meant a gift of God. The call of Matthew to the band of Jesus' disciples is of great importance. Matthew's other name was Levi, which was probably given by Jesus when he became a disciple. Matthew was a tax collector and a publican. He was engaged in public service work and gathered the taxes which the people paid. However, in those times, the Jews hated the tax gatherers because they believed that it was the right of the people to pay taxes as a tribute only to God. Paying it to someone else meant breaking of the law. The Jews hated the tax gatherers, not only for this religious reason, but also because they were very unjust and unfair towards them. The Jews regarded these tax collectors nothing less than criminals. Matthew was one of them. Like every other tax collector, he would assess taxes for their people and also lend them money and charge high rates of interest from them. Yet, Jesus chose him from amongst all the hated men and made him one of his own. Being the master, he saw the potential in the tax collector of Capernaum. Matthew was different from all the other disciples of Jesus, who were mostly fishermen. He knew how to write, and with the power of the pen, he brought to the world the teaching of Jesus in the Hebrew language. The apostolic symbol of Matthew is three money bags, which help us to remember that he was a tax collector before Jesus called him. That was quite an interesting story, Holy. So it is because of Matthew that we began to know more about Jesus. I see. I hope you children like the story. Oh yes, we did. I am glad. Well, we are off for today. Until next time. Bye bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole